Hey, what's going on? Today we're going to be breaking down my brand new $2,000 video editing PC. All right, welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Jack. If you're interested in video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos, then subscribe because that's what I upload. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a review of my brand new $2,000 video editing PC, the MSI Infinite A. And also, we're going to be doing a couple points at the end to talk about just the overall importance of having a fast system when you're doing, you know, video editing stuff, but also just any other kind of computer-based stuff, whether that be graphics, video editing, uh, you know, music production, whatever the case may be. Obviously, today we're going to be focusing more in depth on the video editing side, but overall, for any type of kind of computer-based stuff, you need a fast computer or you're just going to be destroying your, your, your mental health. Trust me, <laughs> I've been there. Without further ado, let's jump into a brief review of the MSI Infinite A, and then we're gonna jump into some important bullet points on why you need a fast computer. First off, this right here is the MSI Infinite A, Infinity A, and it comes with the most updated i7 core, the i7-7700 processor, 16 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, and a GTX 1070 Ti. Actually, I don't know if it's Ti, but I know it's a GTX 1070 with eight gigabytes, so it's an extremely fast computer. On top of that, it also comes with an SSD, a built-in SSD with 256 gigabytes, which if you're you know, familiar with SSDs, you pretty much put all of your main programs and of course your operating system on there and uh, everything else you install onto your secondary hard drive in terms of files and all your other nonsense. And you pretty much just have a massively fast computer, lightning fast, essentially, this right here loads up in probably less than 10 seconds, you know what I mean? I just push the button and boom, it's already loaded up. It loads up any of my apps super quickly and overall the you know performance of it is amazing. It really is. The, you know, about a month ago, I got this and just, just my mental health has been so much better since. <laughs> I can't even lie, I'll get to that in a second, but um, it's got an SSD with 256 gigabytes and also a two terabyte hard drive that came with it, but also I whacked in a one terabyte hard drive. So I've got a 256 gigabyte SSD, which I install all my kind of permanent, tempor uh, not temporary, permanent kind of um, important files on, important programs on, all that sort of stuff. Um, and essentially I put all of my other stuff onto the two terabyte hard drive and then I've got my one terabyte hard drive which I just threw in there on top of the two terabytes and the SSD to use for footage. Basically just footage, you know, I, I film a lot of stuff as well as being a video editor and you know, I don't wanna destroy that footage. I wanna have that even in, in a year if I think back to the project and I recall back and I wanna come back and uh, you know, still find some of those clips. I want those clips, so I need a place where I can basically just leave them for a long period of time and not worry about them, and that's what my second one terabyte hard drive is serving the purpose for. So I've got a two terabyte just in there doing its thing, and then a one terabyte just for footage, and then an SSD running everything else essentially. But that right there is my quick review and overall, more like an overview uh, of the MSI Infinite A. Really good computer so far. I've had it for a month. It's holding up, and you know, now let's just move on to some important points on why you need a fast computer, you need a speedy system. I've just come off of this firsthand. I've just come off of having a terrible, terrible system, which it was not terrible when I bought it. Obviously, I wouldn't have bought it. It was really good when I bought it, but I bought it five years ago, right? And essentially, in that five-year period, you know, I did a lot of stuff on it. I don't, I don't really know how, how else to describe it. You know, I did a lot, so um, naturally, the health of it just went down and down and down until the point that you know I reached about a month ago where it was just unbearable to use anymore, pretty much. Um, which brings me to uh, you know having a lot of stuff to talk about in terms of the importance of having a fast computer. First off, is going to be a smooth workflow. This right here is something I pretty much didn't even know was possible on my old computer. I did not have a smooth workflow whatsoever. Now I do have a smooth workflow overall, but what, what I mean by a smooth workflow is, you know, everything just working smoothly, not lagging. You know, if you're editing a project, the biggest annoyance is lag, obviously. You wanna just be consistently getting through your project and it can really be a deterrent if you're lagging or your programs are crashing or whatever the case may be. Uh, may be. And all that is pretty much down to a bad computer, AKA, uh, you know, individually, the processor mainly, the processor and the RAM, depending on the video editor that you're using, of course. Now, that's not a smooth workflow 
for someone like me who video editing and video production is my job, I need a fast computer. Honestly, I'm surprised that it took me that long to upgrade to this one because I was not experiencing a smooth workflow on my previous system whatsoever. And I'm sure there's people that relate to that watching this right now. It's intense. I would advise you to get a better computer almost 100%. Next up is gonna be quick and stable renders. Quick and stable renders is another huge importance of having a smooth computer. This right here on top of the non-smooth workflow, if you don't have a good computer, can be the breaking point. I know the renders were the breaking point for me. For example, I have some clients who are really long form content, so I'll have to make like a 20 plus minute video. For videos like that, it's a lot of editing in there for this specific client. And my computer was doing so bad, my old computer, that I had to render that video in four parts, four or five minute sections, and then render it again in another editor as a whole video, you know? Because it just kept crashing and it just would not get through that full render. Now I've got this computer, which renders it consistently in, you know, 20 minutes pretty much, <laughs> which is amazing. It basically renders it at, the sp at, you know, real time speed. Absolutely amazing. Quick and consistent stable renders are so worth upgrading for, 100%. Finally, mental health. I said this one as a bit of a joke earlier, now I'm putting it in here for real because for self-explanatory reasons, if you are really heavily immersed in you know this computer stuff, whether it be your job or just your part-time job or your hobby or whatever the case may be, but for me, it's my full-time job. So I'm on my computer all day, every day, editing projects for different clients. Now with those first two things being mentioned on my old computer, the not fast and not smooth at all workflow and the very crashy renders, this is not good for your mental health. And I'm making this video right now, just going over everything and saying this is a joke. Mental health is not a joke definitely, but this, you know, the way I'm playing off of this is kind of a joke to be honest. Obviously you could just get up and walk away from the computer if it's really doing you in, but if you're stuck with it, like if you're really stuck with a bad computer and it's your job for example, do yourself the favor, put the money into a new computer, put the money into a stable computer, a stable system, and you'll be preserving your mental health, believe me. <laughs> I was going nuts. The, the final day that I, that I actually upgraded my computer, I was going crazy pretty much, because I was just, I think it had crashed. The, the computer had crashed like 20 times or something like that. Now that seems like a crazy exaggeration, but I'm not even exaggerating. It crashed no less than 20 times that, that day. The day that I just was like, screw it, I can't do this, use this computer anymore, um, and upgraded to this one, it crashed about 20 times. And my, I, I was going crazy, I swear to you. Like, I was really going nuts. Um, and I'm sure there's other people out there who are in the same position as me, in the same boat, whatever the case may be. Overall, this has been a review of the MSI Infinite A, and of course, a uh, overall three-pointer quick tip advice from a freelance full-time editor myself, telling you get a good computer or your mental health is going to be suffering because of it. Trust me. <laughs> Overall, thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack. Have a nice day and uh, check out my second channel for loads of unboxings and further reviews. I'm going to be doing a different kind of review on this, looking at it in terms of a gaming PC over there on my second channel. So check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day and goodbye.